The W sound. The W sound requires the lips to be fully rounded and pushed forward a bit. Many non-native speakers confuse the V and the W sounds V and W. To avoid this mistake, make sure that the bottom lip is not touching your upper teeth when you're saying the W. Let's practice saying the W to make sure you're pronouncing it correctly. Then we'll practice V and W together. Words for practice. Always. Wish. Flower. Work. Well. Window. Wife. Swim. Q-U sounds like K-W. Words that are spelled with Q-U are pronounced as Qu. Quick. Question. Require. Quiet. Quality. Frequent. Word pairs for practice. White wine. Always working. Quick wedding. Powerful wind. Weak witness. Wonderful weekend. Anywhere you wish. Twenty flowers. Windshield wiper. Frequent question. V and W sound contrasts. Word contrasts. Vine, wine. Vow, wow. Vet, wet. Vest, west. Verse, worse. Veal, wheel. Word pairs. Every week. Very well. Wise investment. Weigh the vegetables. West Virginia. Wonderful voice. White van. Valuable watch. Wear the vest. Weird video. Sentences for practice. Victor's wife, Vicky, was very wise. It was very warm all week. Don't wear your valuable watch this weekend. When will Vic weigh the vegetables? Were you involved in Vivian's wedding plans? Will we view the video on Wednesday? S and Z. The letter S is sometimes pronounced as a Z sound and sometimes as a S sound. When the S follows a consonant, there are rules for how you pronounce it. But when it follows a vowel, there are no rules, so it's best to just memorize the exceptions. <coughs> Warning. Common mistake. The letter Z is never pronounced as a S sound. If your native language is Spanish, compare the way Americans pronounce common Spanish last names, such as Gomez, Alvarez, versus the way they're pronounced in Spanish. Rules for pronouncing S and Z. Voiceless consonants followed by an S are pronounced as S. Books. Eats. Stops. Cats.
makes, helps, likes, surfs. Voiced consonants followed by an S are pronounced as z, eggs, comes, beds, boys, lives. Loans, cars, feels. When a word is spelled with a double S, it's pronounced as a s. Boss, massive, less, lesson, success, essay. An extra syllable is added to words that end with an S before these consonant sounds. J. Manages. Changes. Sh. Washes. Dishes. Ch. Churches. Matches. Bosses, faces, x, boxes, faxes. Study tip. Memorize these very common words that have a final s. The s is pronounced as a z and not a s. Was, is. As his, hers, has these, those, whose, goes, does, always, because. Warning, common mistake. The S in the prefix dis is pronounced as s and not as z. Examples, disagree, disorder, disobey, disapprove, disappear, disability. Verbs and nouns. The following words that are spelled with an S have a Z sound if they're verbs and have a S sound if they're nouns. Use, to use. Abuse, to abuse. Close, to close. House, to house. Excuse, to excuse. Advice, to advise. Sentence pairs for practice. Do you still use this? No, I have no use for it anymore. Where will they house their guests? They have a guest house. Does he abuse drugs? Yes, he's getting help for his drug abuse. Please excuse me. I don't accept your excuse. Would you close the door? You do it. You're close to it. Can you advise me on this? Sure, I can give you some advice. Sentences for practice. Remember to pronounce all of the final S sounds of plural nouns 
and of verbs with third-person singular form, he, she, and it. Say the following sentences quickly, making sure that you're not forgetting the S endings. A dishwasher washes dishes. A bus driver drives buses. A mechanic fixes cars. A teacher teaches students. A watchmaker makes watches. A real estate agent sells houses. Warning! Common mistake. Make sure that you're not pronouncing the words this and these the same. The word this is singular and is pronounced with a short i sound and a s. The word these is plural and is pronounced with a long vowel e and a z sound. This, these. I like this book. I like these books. Story for practice. Listen to the following story and notice that the final S is pronounced as either s, z, or is. Every morning he gets up early, brushes his teeth, washes his face, and eats breakfast. He kisses his wife and kids goodbye. He takes two buses to work. He usually manages to get to work before his co-workers. He reads his email, checks messages, and returns phone calls. He speaks with his colleagues and clients and conducts meetings. He focuses on his daily tasks and likes to take only 30 minutes for lunch. The NG sound, ung. Don't drop the final G, but don't overpronounce it either. Don't say, I'm going shopping, and don't say, I'm going shopping. Instead, say, I'm going shopping. To create the NG sound, raise the back of the tongue and let it touch the soft palate, which is the back soft area of your mouth. Don't release your tongue when you say the G, or just release it slightly. The mistake of saying, going shopping, is that the tip of the tongue is touching the area right behind the upper front teeth for the N sound. And when you say going shopping, the mistake is that the g is released too much. Individual words. Doing. Teaching. Coming. Listening. Being. Going. Word pairs. Doing nothing. Something wrong. Looking young. Wedding ring. Bring everything. Feeling strong. Sound contrasts for N and NG. N and N. Remember, for the n as in thin, the tip of the tongue touches the gum ridge just behind the teeth. And for the ung as in thing, the tip of the tongue is down, not touching anywhere. The back of the tongue is up, touching the soft palate, which is located in the back of your mouth. Word contrasts for n and ung. Thin, thing. Ran, 
rang fan fang win wing ban bang run rung Chapter 5 Syllable Stress A syllable is a small unit of speech that consists of a vowel or a vowel and one or more consonants. Stressed and unstressed syllables form the basis of the rhythmic patterns of English words. Many languages place the same amount of stress on each syllable. For example, in many languages the word banana is pronounced as banana. All three syllables are stressed equally. In English, we pronounce the word as banana. The second syllable is stressed. The vowel within the stressed syllable is longer, louder, and higher in pitch. The vowel within the unstressed syllable is reduced and becomes a neutral short vowel called the schwa and is pronounced as a. Uh. It can be spelled with a, e, i, o, or u. All of the five vowels can sound the same if they are part of the reduced syllable. As you can see, it is more important to know which syllable is stressed than how the word is spelled. If people sometimes don't understand a particular word that you are saying, chances are you're stressing the wrong syllable. Stressed and reduced vowels. Listen to the following word pairs and notice the changes in the vowel sounds depending on whether the syllable is stressed or reduced. The first word of the pair has only one syllable, so the vowel must be fully pronounced. The second word has two syllables, with the second syllable reduced. Even though the ending of the second word is spelled exactly the same as the first word, the vowel is pronounced differently because it is part of the reduced syllable. Man Salesman Pose Purpose Race Terrace Late Chocolate Cord Record Rage Courage Fast Breakfast Land England Now, listen to vowel changes of words that have the reduced first syllable. Con Control Add Advice Lag Lagoon Pod Podiatrist Ball Balloon Red Reduce Off Offend Mat Material Or Ordain Mad Madrid Dangers of stressing the wrong syllable Stressing the wrong syllable sometimes creates misunderstandings because people think you're pronouncing a completely different word. The following words are great examples of why syllable stress is such an important component of the American accent. Listen and repeat. Noble, Nobel. He won the Nobel Prize for his noble effort. Invalid, invalid. The invalid has an invalid permit. Personal, personnel. Some of the personnel have some personal problems. Eligible, illegible. You won't be eligible for that position if your handwriting is illegible.
pronouns pronounce. Can you pronounce those pronouns correctly? Comedy, committee. The committee watched a comedy. Advantages, advantageous. It would be advantageous to learn about the advantages of that method. Decade, decayed. Their relationship has decayed in the past decade. Access, excess. Do you have access to the excess data? Content, content. Are you content with the content of that letter? Career, carrier. He had a career working for an aircraft carrier. Discus, discuss. The discus throwers discussed the competition. Study tip: Make a list of commonly used words at your workplace or your field of study. Ask a colleague or a classmate who is a native speaker to pronounce the words for you as you record them. Listen to the recordings, carefully noting which syllable is stressed. General rules of stress placement. This section will give you some general guidelines and patterns of American English syllable stress. Keep in mind that there are many exceptions to these rules, and that English syllable stress can be quite irregular. Get into the habit of using your dictionary or asking native speakers to pronounce new or confusing words for you. Two-syllable words, nouns, stress the first syllable. Action. Paper. Building. Concert. Teacher. Father. Window. Garden. Verbs. Stress the second syllable. Produce. Achieve. Apply. Succeed. Attach. Employ. Include. Destroy. Sentences for practice. You will hear both a noun and a verb form in each of these sentences. Notice the stress changes. The singer wants to record a new record. The drug addict is addicted to heroin. He insulted me with a rude insult. I would like to present all of the present members. This permit permits you to park your car here. They protested in the protest. Do you object to this object? The convict was convicted again. I suspect that they caught the suspect. They are going to contest the results of the contest. Words ending with t i o n and a t e. Verbs ending with a t e stress the first syllable. Nouns ending with t i o n. Stress the second syllable before the suffix. Activate. Activation. Celebrate. Celebration. Congratulate. Congratulation. Demonstrate. Demonstration. Donate. 
Donation. Frustrate. Frustration. Imitate. Imitation. Locate. Location. The A-T-E word ending is pronounced fully in verbs, but reduced in adjectives and nouns. For example, the A-T-E ending of the word separate is pronounced eight if it's a verb, as in separate, and it when it's a noun, as in separate. Word pairs for practice. Separate, separate. They have decided to separate. They will live in separate houses. Alternate, alternate. She alternates between feeling happy and sad. Do you have an alternate plan? Graduate, graduate. He will graduate next spring. He will be a college graduate. Estimate, estimate. Can you estimate the cost of the repairs? I would like to have an estimate of the costs. Duplicate, duplicate. I will duplicate this document. Please make a duplicate of it. Appropriate, appropriate. The city appropriated the money for the new park. It was an appropriate decision. More stressed suffixes. Words with the following suffixes. E, et, eek, ees, ear, ain. Stress the suffix. Employee. Trainee. Cigarette. Cassette. Unique. Boutique. Japanese. Chinese. Engineer. Volunteer. Maintain. Explain. Prefixes. Prefix plus verb combinations usually have second syllable stress. Oversleep. Overdue. Understand. Undertake. Outlive. Outperform. Rewrite. Redo. If the prefix plus the root word function as a noun, the first syllable is stressed. Oversight. Overdose. Undertaker. Underwear. Refill. Repeat. Outsourcing. Outcome. Reflexive pronouns. Stress the last syllable. Myself. Yourself. Himself. Herself. Itself. Ourselves. Study tip. Practice reading aloud, underlining longer words, and determining syllable stress by looking in the dictionary. Your dictionary may come with an audio CD which will help you to hear the word. Syllable stress changes in suffix changes. When a word changes, from a noun to a verb or adjective or adverb, frequently the stress placement changes as well. Listen to these common words that non-native speakers tend to mispronounce. Politics Political Politician 
photograph, photographic, photography, compete, competitive, competition, economy, economical, economize, democrat, democracy, democratic, family, familiar, familiarity, necessary, necessarily, necessity, hospital, hospitality, hospitable, origin, originality, original, Mechanic. Mechanism. Mechanical. Define. Definition. Definitely. Very. Variety. Variation. Courage. Courageous. Probably. Probability. Geography. Geographic. Memory. Memorial. Canada. Canadian. Ignore. Ignorance. Sentences for practice. He likes politics. He wants to be a politician. I love photography. Do you take a lot of photographs? He studied economy. He's an economical shopper. Do you know that family? Yes, they're familiar to me. He's a very good mechanic. He's fixing the mechanism. Their opinions vary. There's a variety of opinions in the room. We celebrate Memorial Day. It's in memory of the veterans. Do you know the origin of your name? No, it's pretty original. He's a registered Democrat. He watched the Democratic debate on TV. It's not necessary to do that. I don't necessarily agree. He likes to compete. He's always been very competitive. Chapter 6. Word Stress In this chapter, you will learn the rules of stressing words within sentences. If you stress the right words, your speech will have a natural rhythm and melody that is familiar to native speakers. The stress and reduction of words creates the music of English. If your sentences are difficult to understand, it could be that you're not stressing any words or else that you're stressing the wrong words. If you're not emphasizing any words, your speech will sound flat and monotone, and the listener will not know where one word begins and another ends. If you're stressing the wrong words, your speech will sound very foreign. For example, saying, I'll see you later, and have a nice day, sounds foreign to the American ear. If you change the word stress and you say, I'll see you later, and have a nice day, native speakers will recognize a familiar speech pattern and will be more likely to understand what you said, even if you're speaking quickly. So, if you have a tendency to speak too fast, learning to speak with correct word stress will automatically force you to slow down. Sometimes when the word stress changes, 
the meaning also changes. For example, listen to the following two sentences. I went to the White House. I went to the White House. The first example describes a house that is white, while the second one is the name of the place where the U.S. president lives. Now, let's learn some rules of word stress. Compound nouns. Compound nouns are two individual words that carry one meaning. They're part of a unit and they have become a set phrase. Usually, a compound noun consists of two nouns, such as credit, card, which is pronounced as credit card. In compound nouns, the first word is stressed, and the two words are said together with no pausing in between the words. Key and board is pronounced as keyboard. Note, compound nouns can be written either as a single word or as two separate words. Compound nouns for practice. Stress the first word and pronounce the two words as one. Parking lot. Parking ticket. Parking meter. Parking space. Bookshelf. Book cover. Bookstore. Bookmark. Credit card. Postcard. Report card. Green card. Football. Baseball. Ballpark. Ballroom. Compound noun within a compound noun. Stress the first word. Cell phone number. Football game. Bedroom furniture. High school girl. Basketball coach. Blood pressure medicine. Website address. Parking lot attendant. Story for practice. At the computer store. I went to the computer store to buy a new computer. I couldn't decide between a laptop and a desktop. The salesman was very helpful. He told me all about the hard drives and the operating systems. I decided to get a laptop even though it has a smaller keyboard. He recommended a good webcam and a flash drive. I ended up also getting some software, headphones, a sound card, and a mouse pad. I also got a fax machine, a few video games, and a navigation system for my car. But when I got to the cash register and gave them my credit card, they said I went over my credit limit. I was so embarrassed. I think I went overboard. Adjective plus noun. Stress the noun. Nice day. Big house. Small room. Long time. Blue eyes. Good job. Old man. First grade. Two adjectives plus a noun. Stress the first adjective and the noun. The noun gets the most stress. Big blue bus. Really nice day. Short black hair. Nice old man. Cute little girl.
big brown eyes. Sentences for practice. He's got big blue eyes and short black hair. The nice young man helped a little old lady. The big blue bus passed the little white car. The rich young man bought the big old house. Word pairs for practice. First, you will hear a compound noun and then an adjective and a noun. Notice the changes in stress. Remember to say the two words as one unit. Do not pause. Swimming pool. Deep pool. Drugstore. Large store. Newspaper. New paper. Credit card. Plastic card. Sunglasses. Nice glasses. Postman. Tall man. Bus driver. Fast driver. Textbook. Good book. Palm tree. Tall tree. Fingernails. Long nails. Girlfriend. Great friend. Sentences for practice. They had a good time playing football. I bought some sunglasses at the new store. My hairdresser has blonde hair. The postman brought me an important letter. That salesman is a very nice man. Her large apartment is on the third floor of that apartment building. I left my cell phone in the front seat of my friend's car. Let's go see the new film at the movie theater. Compound nouns containing adjectives. Sometimes in a compound noun, the first word is an adjective that no longer carries the original meaning. The meaning has been lost and has become a part of a fixed phrase or a common expression. For example, the adjective super in the compound noun supermarket doesn't make people think of the true meaning of the word super. Here are some other examples. Words for practice. White House, Greenhouse, Hot Dog, Blue Jeans, High School, Green Card, Dark Room, Cold Cut, Bluetooth, High Rise. Phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a verb plus preposition combination that carries a special meaning. Phrasal verbs are idiomatic; they cannot be translated word for word. For example, turn on, turn off, turn down, and turn up are all phrasal verbs. These types of words are very common in English and are often more frequently used than their one-word synonyms. For example, you're more likely to hear. Put out the fire, rather than extinguish the fire. In phrasal verbs, the stress is on the last word. Dialogues for practice. Practice with turn. We don't need the heater. Turn it off. The music sounds good. Turn it up. Let's watch TV. Turn it on. He's impolite. That turns me off.
The music is too loud. Turn it down. Did he ask her out? She turned him down. He told me he'd be at the party. He didn't turn up. Did you ask for help? They turned me away. Noun forms of phrasal verbs. Sometimes the phrasal verb has a noun equivalent or a phrasal noun. In that case, the stress is on the first word. We say work out if it's a verb and work out if it's a noun. Sentence pairs for practice. First, you will hear the phrasal verb and then the phrasal noun. The car was tuned up. My car needed a tune up. I worked out yesterday. I had a great workout. The papers were handed out. We got some interesting handouts. They covered it up well. I heard about the cover up. A lot of food was left over. We ate leftovers for lunch. That really turns me off. That's such a turn off. They let me down. It was a big letdown. The order was mixed up. We're sorry about the mix up. He dropped out. He's a high school dropout. I need to sign up for the class. Where is the sign up sheet? Abbreviations and numbers. Stress the last letter or the last number. MBA, UCLA, JFK, CNN, USA, IBM, FBI, PhD, AT&T, Numbers, 1997, 515, 1145, 3799, 911, area code 310-555-2389. Sentences for practice for abbreviations and numbers. He arrived at LAX at 825 a.m., He has a Ph.D. from UCLA. My SUV was made in the USA. I love my IBM PC. We arrived in the USA in 2007. I bought my DVD player for thirty nine ninety nine. My class starts at nine fifteen and ends at ten forty five. Names of places and people. Stress the last word. Place names. New York. Central Park. South Africa, Venice Beach, Las Vegas, Palm Springs, North Dakota,
Mount Everest. Names of people George Washington, Bill Clinton, Tom Cruise, John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Julia Roberts. Word stress, paragraph for practice. This story includes examples of all of the different word stress rules you have learned so far. You will hear the story twice. First, just listen. Then, you will hear the story again and you will be given time to repeat. Trip to LA. I'm planning to visit the West Coast. I will take United Airlines Flight 307. It leaves JFK at 9 a.m. and arrives at LAX at 12 15. I found out. That there's a three hour time difference between LA and New York. I hope I get over my jet lag pretty quickly. After I check in at the hotel, I will call a taxi cab to pick me up and take me to Universal Studios. Who knows? I might even see some famous movie stars like Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. Oh, I hope I don't pass out. I also plan to visit Palm Springs and San Diego. On my way back, I'm planning a layover in Las Vegas. I really think it's going to be a nice getaway. Now you will hear the story again. I'm planning a visit to the West Coast. I will take United Airlines Flight 307. It leaves JFK at 9 a.m. and arrives at LAX at 12 15. I found out that there's a three hour time difference between LA and New York. I hope I get over my jet lag pretty quickly. After I check in at the hotel, I will call a taxi cab to pick me up. And take me to Universal Studios. Who knows, I might even see some famous movie stars. Like Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. Oh, I hope I don't pass out. I also plan to visit Palm Springs and San Diego. On my way back, I'm planning a layover in Las Vegas. I think it's really going to be a nice getaway. Word stress within a sentence. You will now learn the rules of stress and reduction within sentences. First, let's learn how words should sound when they're stressed. For now, just keep in mind that we generally stress words that carry the most meaning. Lengthening the main vowel in stressed words. When the stressed word has only one syllable, just prolong the word and make the vowel higher in pitch. If the stressed word has more than one syllable, make sure that the stressed syllable of the word is prolonged and emphasized more than usual. Prolonging the stressed vowel may sound exaggerated to you, particularly if the vowel is already a long vowel, such as a, a, and o. For example, if you say, it's really far, or stop, the vowel sound may be much longer than it would sound in your native language. Don't say, it's really far, say, it's really far. Don't say, stop that, say, stop that. Let's first get used to prolonging the vowels within stressed words, since this will create a distinctly American sound to your English. Practice with vowel length in stressed words. Stressed words with ah. Don't say ah, say ah. I got it. I got a new job. I think I got a new job. Stressed words with a.、Eh. Don't say a.、Eh. Say a.、Eh. I have a new class. 
I can't stand it. I can't stand my new class. I'll call you back as soon as I can. I'll call you back as soon as I can. Stressed words with O. Don't say O, say O. It's so cold. I didn't know. I didn't know about it. I didn't know it would be so cold. Stressed words with E. Don't say E, say E. How do you feel? When did he leave? How did you feel when he had to leave? Stressed words with aw. Don't say aw, say aw. That's awful. It's too long. That awful novel is too long. I'm exhausted. I've been talking all day long. I'm exhausted from talking all day long. Which words should I stress? Now that you had a quick introduction to how words sound when they're stressed and reduced, let's learn the rules of which words are stressed and which are reduced. Stress content words. Content words are the words that carry the most meaning. These words are usually nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and sometimes question words such as when, why, where, etc. If we removed the surrounding words and just spoke using content words, the general idea of what we were trying to say would still be understood. For example, if you heard someone say, went, store, morning, you would understand that they meant, I went to the store in the morning. Also, content words are like key words that you would use when searching a topic on the internet. For example, you would type, symptoms, heart attack, instead of, what are the symptoms of a heart attack? Another good example would be newspaper headlines. We would read, suspect arrested instead of, a suspect has been arrested, and neighbors complain, instead of, the neighbors have been complaining. As a general rule, the last content word of a phrase gets the most stress. So, in the sentence, a suspect has been arrested, arrested will get the most stress. Similarly, we don't say, the neighbors have been complaining, Instead, we stress the last content word and we say, the neighbors have been complaining. Now let's practice stressing content words and placing the most stress on the final content word. Practice stressing final content words. Notice how the stress changes as more information is added to the end of the sentences. I like bacon. I like bacon and eggs. It's black. It's black and white. Do you want salt? Do you want salt and pepper? That's good. That's a good idea. It's hot. It's a hot day. I need it. I need to go. I need to go home. I need to go home at 5 o'clock. I saw him. I saw the man. I saw the man you told me about. He drove it. He drove the car. He drove the car he bought yesterday. He drove the car that he bought from his friend. Content words in detail. Stress verbs. Verbs are action words such as go, eat, and study. We emphasize the main verbs more than the participles or gerunds that come before them. Words like can, could, am, been, don't, and have when it's a participle are less important than the main verb. 
Stressed verbs for practice. Notice how the verbs are stressed the most and how the surrounding words have been reduced. I'll call you. I saw him. I'll wait for you. I have to go. It's nice to meet you. Stress nouns, but not pronouns. We stress words like man, book, John, and Mary, but we don't stress he, it, her, and myself. Listen to the following sentence pairs and notice how the stress changes when the noun is changed to a pronoun. Nouns and pronouns for practice. He told John. He told him. I like that car. I like it. I need a job. I need it. Stressing adjectives. Place full stress on an adjective if it's not followed by a noun. If it is followed by a noun, stress the noun more. Listen to the differences in the following sentence pairs. That was good. That was a good film. It's really hot. It's a really hot day. It's long. It's a long drive. John is nice. John is a nice man. Sentences for practice for content words. Wait. I'll wait for you. I can wait for you. I'm waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. I could have waited for you. I could have been waiting for you. I'll wait for you in the car. I should have been waiting for you in the car. Tell her. He'll tell her. He'll be telling her. He didn't tell her. He should have told her. He should have been telling her. He didn't tell his wife. He should have been telling his wife. He didn't tell his wife about the situation. He should have been telling his wife about the situation. I bought it. I bought a watch. I bought a new watch. I bought a new gold watch. I bought a new gold watch for him. I bought a new gold watch for his birthday. I bought a new gold watch for his 30th birthday. I would have bought a new gold watch for his 30th birthday. He lost it. He lost the money. I think he lost the money. I think he lost the money again. I think he lost the money that I gave him. He might have lost the money that I gave him. I think he might have lost the money that I gave him. Function words. We reduce function words. These types of words generally don't carry as much importance or meaning as the content words. If they were eliminated, the sentence would still make sense. The following types of words are function words. Pronouns, as in he, she, you. Prepositions, as in to, in, for, at. Conjunctions, as in and, but, 
or so. Auxiliary verbs such as am, is, was, were. Articles such as a, on, and the. Indefinite pronouns such as some, any, or one. Exception: Negative auxiliaries. Auxiliary verbs are stressed in their negative forms. Listen to the differences of stress in these two sentences. The first sentence is in the affirmative, and the second sentence is in the negative. I can do it. I can't do it. He should try it. He shouldn't try it. I'd like it. I wouldn't like it. Weak forms. When a word is reduced, we use the weak form of the word. The weak form is said more quickly and more softly. The vowel becomes the schwa sound, a.、Uh. For example, the preposition for sounds like fur, and at sounds like et. Let's now practice using the weak forms of some commonly unstressed words. Practice reducing the unstressed words. To becomes t. I'd like to go. I need to talk to you. I'd like to go to the park. And becomes n.、Mm. Bacon and eggs. Black and white. In and out. Rock and roll. Four becomes fur. Let's go for a walk. Wait for John. This is for Bill. I'm looking for my book. Can becomes can. I can do it. You can call me. Can you swim? When can you come over? As becomes is. It's as big as a house. I'm as hungry as a wolf. I'll call you as soon as I can. Keep it as long as you need it. Or becomes er. Is it this one or that one? I'll do it today or tomorrow. I saw it five or six times. I'm leaving on Monday or Tuesday. Warning: Common mistake. Don't speak fast unless you know the rules of which words to stress and which words to reduce. Some non-native speakers develop a habit of speaking English at a fast pace, thinking that this will make them sound more like native speakers. Instead, it actually makes their speech harder to understand. Remember, American speech follows the rules of stressing content words and reducing function words. So we can conclude that Americans speak both quickly and slowly at the same time.